Man on the moon. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh... Oh, jeez. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What? <laughs> okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. Mm. You know why uh, Mission Control said you got a bunch of guys about to turn blue? Because Neil Armstrong landed the Eagle with just 17 seconds of fuel remaining before they ran out. The great Walter Cronkite you saw there a minute ago, just as speechless as everyone else was 50 years ago tonight. As Neil Armstrong set foot on the surface of the moon at 7.56 p.m. Pacific time. And as we celebrate that milestone, remember that Apollo had a sister, Artemis, goddess of the moon. Well, NASA's new Artemis program seeks to put Americans back on the moon, including a woman astronaut by 2024. But Melissa Kane reports first Congress has to fund it. America's next mission to the moon promises to be very different from Apollo. When we went last time, the goal was land a person on the moon and return them safely to Earth. And we did that. This time it's a little bit different. Here's NASA's new message. We're going to the moon to stay by 2024. There are two reasons for staying on the moon. First, it allows NASA to learn how humans can live on another planet. Second, it actually gets us closer to Mars. We'll let Elias explain. It will be easier to get to Mars from the moon because you won't need as much fuel if you would to go straight from Earth. Earth's gravitational pull makes it very hard to get a rocket into space. Ships burn tons of fuel just getting into orbit. So the plan is to set up a sort of space gas station near the moon where ships could fuel up and then travel to Mars or beyond. I figured by now we would be at, on Mars. So it's been kind of a lull since the space shuttle stopped. Buzz Aldrin, who was on the Apollo 11 space flight, agrees. Uh, frankly, I've been a little disappointed in the last 10, 15 years. We were able to achieve so much early. Right. So what's been the holdup? Well, according to NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine, it's money. In the 1990s and in the early 2000s, we made efforts to go back to the moon and onto Mars. And in each case, the program was too long. It took too, too long and too much money. Uh, what the president said is in order to retire the political risk, we want to go faster. We want to go within five years. The vice president uh, delivered a message at the National Space Council, and he said, we want to go back to the moon within five years. Then they amended the president's budget request to give us the resources necessary mm -hmm. to make it a reality, um, and that's where we are. At NASA's request, the president added $1.6 billion for the Artemis program to his proposed budget. So far, though, Democrats in the House have only approved a fraction of that request, saying they want more information about the program. Melissa Kane, KPIX 5. Overall, budget talks are continuing through the weekend. The hope is to have a deal by next Friday when the House breaks for recess until September.